Great, thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Um, I'm Kaushik Ghosh, Director of Product Management and Dell Technologies, and I'm really excited today to talk about PowerScale, uh, the next evolution of unstructured file storage. Uh, many of you have been familiar with, uh, with our Isilon and OneFS products, so PowerScale is the, is the next evolution in that journey uh, with Isilon and OneFS. So with that, uh, before I go into uh, the, um, what, uh, what, what is PowerScale and introduce about PowerScale, let's spend a little bit of time talking about what is really unstructured data. What do we really mean by unstructured data? So at a very high level, unstructured data is, is data that is not sitting typically in a database, right? So, so these are uh, things like home directories, file shares, um, um, anything basically which is stored as a file, as an object, we call it as unstructured data or even stream, streaming data as well, right? So file, objects, and stream. What you see out here is basically what is our three categories of these uh, unstructured data. So, so we find unstructured data in IT environment. So these are your home directories. These are your file shares, archives, um, surveillance, video feeds, and so on. We see unstructured data being used in production, high performance production workloads, such as genomics and life sciences in a life sciences company, video editing in a movie production house, um, whether it's a chip design in an EDA industry and so on. And then there's a third category, which is basically the emerging workloads, right? Whether it is, whether it's streaming data, sensor data coming in, whether you're using, um, using data for artificial intelligence, not, artificial intelligence built in into the storage, but leveraging artificial intelligence to solve a business problem. Um, uh, that's another great use case. Um, and then lastly, the, an emerging trend is automated driving assists, right? So these are all different types of uh, unstructured data, just a snapshot of examples. Um, there's, there's, the thing is, as you can realize with the, with the, the amount of data and the different in verticals it covers, um, 80% of the world's data today is unstructured. Not a surprise given the, all this amount of data being created, um, especially outside the data center, at the edge, in the cloud. Um, it's a lot of data. And, and these are some of the analysts, what the analysts have to say about unstructured data. Uh, today, um, as per Gartner and IDC, uh, we expecting the data to grow about 3x in the next uh, three years, the unstructured data volume. Uh, what we have found is that 85% of enterprise customers are now moving to a hybrid multi-cloud environment. This is especially important in the, in the unstructured space because uh, depend, as you can make out the, the workloads, the unstructured workloads, like uh, whether it is video editing, whether it's genomics, typically have a burst angle to it, right? So, so when, when a movie production is going on, you might need to spin up hundreds of compute to do that video editing. But once the editing is done, you don't need it the next day. You might need it again when the next uh, movie editing has to be done. So, so typically in unstructured, there is a lot of uh, need for a lot of compute for a shorter duration of time, which is ideal for a cloud type environment. You use the cloud for the compute when the job is done, then, then you bring back. So, so a hybrid environment where the data is on-prem and leveraging the compute in the cloud is an ideal use case for, uh, for unstructured. And then lastly, uh, when the data is growing, as we talked about, there's a lot of data. With the data growing, there is a lot of data that needs to be managed. Um, we, we talk about how our storage is able to store the data, but we do not give you any insights as to what is being stored in the data. Are you storing the data at the right place, at the right, uh, right location and paying the right cost? For example, how many video files do you have? How many MPEG files? Are they sitting on expensive all flash storage? Right, that's the type of insights that's lacking today. So that's basically some of the things that we are looking to address with this, uh, with this uh, power scale solution. So with that, what is power scale? 
so at the end of it, parse scale basically is, a, is an unstructured scale out file solution. The core of parse scale is parse scale 1FS. Parse scale 1FS is a scale out file system. So it's a single file system, unlike, unlike other solutions, which are multiple file systems stitched together in a single namespace. This is a single file system with a single namespace that spans from three, three nodes, 11 terabyte to 252 nodes and petabytes of capacity. Again, all managed under a single file system. OneFS in the past was running on custom hardware produced by Dell EMC. Those are your Isilon appliances. So PowerScale OneFS continues to run on those Isilon systems that you have uh, and using in your environment. No changes there. You can upgrade the code and you take advantage of all the capabilities that one PowerScale OneFS brings in. In addition to that, what we have also done with this release is we have unlocked PowerScale One FS. So it's not just running on uh, custom appliances, purpose-built appliances that we deliver, but also generic servers. So for the first time, we now have PowerScale One FS running on on Power Edge-based servers. We we branded them as PowerScale. We have two servers here, as you can see, that PowerScale One FS runs on, and so that's that, and these are all branded PowerScale. They give you all the same capabilities of PowerScale One FS, but you're now able to leverage the the hardware acceleration, the innovation, hardware innovation that our PowerEdge servers are bringing to the market. So, quick question: When you say yeah. generic server, you also followed it up right away with PowerEdge servers. So, when you say generic servers, does that just mean um, servers that are not appliances that are also PowerEdge servers, or does it mean any brand of servers? Great question. So from a technology perspective, as, as I mentioned earlier, PowerScale OneFS can run on a server that, uh, that run on any server. We are starting what we have introduced right now from a go-to-market perspective is, is our PowerEdge-based servers. Um, of course, there, is, there are hardware specifications that has to be met. So it can do, there has to be a minimum amount of memory, a minimum amount of, uh, uh, of disk space that you do require. But uh, technically, it can run on any server that meets those specifications. Um, now, uh, these servers, uh, the Isilon appliance, the OneFS, uh, the PowerEdge servers, uh, they could be all be part of one cluster, or you could be part of two separate clusters, up to you. Uh, because it's a scale-out file system, as Callan is going to talk about it uh, later, uh, they, could be, uh, they could be independent clusters or could be part of one cluster. And lastly, we are offering PowerScale One FS also in the cloud. As part of our Dell Technologies cloud solution, you could now have PowerScale available to be uh, used, leveraged uh, through any of the major hyperscalers, whether it's AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. And we'll talk about that. And because these are all running the PowerScale One FS instance, as I mentioned, you could now do native One FS based replication between all these instances, between on-prem, between the between our uh, edge robo location, uh, or or into into the cloud. So with that, uh, there are three themes uh, with PowerScale. Uh, the first one is simplicity at any scale. So so it is not just simple to manage. We have products. All our products are very simple to manage, but the really differentiating part of it is because of the volume of data that Unstructured brings, basically managing that large scale data and still keeping things simple. That's basically what PowerScale brings to the table. As I mentioned earlier, PowerScale can be now, now with the open unlocking of PowerScale from the underlying hardware, you can now deploy PowerScale on a small power, power server at the edge. You could deploy it at the core you could deploy it at the cloud and then have seamless replication, get the same experience at all these different locations. Kashik, um, what's the smallest configuration um, or number of nodes for the for an edge solution? Great question. Yes. So our smallest cluster now with this new PowerScale launch is a three node is a three node uh, system, and 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 uh, each node uh, so at at the smallest capacity that you can get with that three node cluster is 11 terabyte uh, raw capacity. I'm sorry, that was the lowest capacity? That is correct. A lowest capacity cluster is 11 terabyte. And then the third pillar 
of this is intelligent insights. So, so we talked about how the data is growing. There's a lot of data. Customers do not have do not have the good insights into what is the data that they're storing today on these uh, on this storage. So, so the third thing that we are doing is giving customers insight into into that data. What what type of data is being stored? Where is it being stored? How much cost are they paying? Are there duplicate data? Are they, is it being stored at the right place? And so on. Yeah, data IQ is that only for power scale, or is that for the whole storage portfolio of uh, of Dell? Great Teams. question. Great question. Yes. Uh, so yes, data IQ is basically uh, comes with power scale, but it can uh, it can. Uh, basically scan through any file system, any bucket, wherever it resides, whether it's on Dell EMC storage, whether it's in a third party storage, whether it's sitting in the cloud, it can scan through all of that data and give you that insight from a single pane of glass. And we will definitely talk about Power Data IQ in more depth uh, in the rest of the presentation.